Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this first ever empties video And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back you guys I hope you're having an awesome summer um, It is super crazy hot outside today while I'm filming this we are hitting like 90 degrees probably over 90 degrees and in Michigan with humidity that makes for very 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 hot days luckily being from Arizona most recently I'm kind of used to it but the humidity still getting used to that again <laughs> so you guys before I dive into um, and I want to say I'm actually really excited to do this I actually have a giant bag of stuff I have been saving for the past month a lot of those items are ones I may have done reviews on before but it's my final thoughts on after having used all the product but before I dive into that, the background may look a little bit different. I'm kind of testing out different backgrounds and lighting and things like that. For those of you that make videos or film or just make videos in general or whatever, you'll know that sometimes it takes a while to nail the perfect lighting spot. So where I've been filming and recording, it's a nice setup. Everything kind of works, but my lighting is just not where I want it to be. So I don't know how I feel about this right now. <laughs> so you guys may see some background changes. I'm still trying to get it down. I don't know if I like the scarf behind me and all that stuff. I may play around with it, but if it looks a little different, that's why. <laughs> so let's dive into this, you guys. I'm excited to share this with you. A lot of it's home fragrance, um, soaps, wallflowers, uh, wallflower tags, things like that. I even have some like I think one hair care item and even some cosmetics in my in the very 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 infancy of my channel I had a couple um, cosmetic reviews up Ulta hauls TJ Maxx hauls and things like that I don't know if you guys are interested in stuff like that I um I did a couple makeup reviews of like my favorite products and stuff that was very early on the video um, I don't like the way it turned out when I look back at it now but it is still up on my channel so there's a lot of stuff in here. So there's other stuff other than home fragrance. So comment down below if you guys find that interesting. If not, um, I'll just stick with home fragrance the next time I do an empties video. But I figured why not just chuck it in and kind of review it anyways. So let's dive into it. I'm gonna start with the home fragrance items first. So the first couple items I'll just grab at random here. So the first one I grabbed, this was really, really delicious. This was Yankee Candles Red Raspberry. And I did have a out of frame video up of Red Raspberry. I don't know, I was just on a fruit kick this spring. Spring, late spring, early summer. It smells like raspberry jam. And you guys, the candle burned beautifully. Beautifully down to the very last bit. I loved this so much. I was so inclined to just scoop out the wax and save it for my wax warmer. I think I said this in my review, but it smells just like you would think this photo would. Okay, so it has like this gorgeous raspberries with like this jam. It smells just like that. Spot on with the picture on there. It's just a beautiful, rich, juicy, um, I don't want to say creamy, but it has like that jam, kind of like a jam jelly scent as well. It's it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. <clears throat> I almost bought another one, but I wound up going with strawberry lemon ice instead, um, just because that kind of blended with whatever the scents I'm doing now. But this was a really nice scent, and I will certainly purchase this again probably next spring. So that was Red Raspberry by Yankee Candle, and I got this when they had the $8 um, medium jar candles. I think seven or eight dollars right right at the beginning of semi-annual sale and then the other ones I have in here and you guys there are some candles that I have burned a while back that before I started saving them so there's not too too many candles in here the more I do my empties the more I'll kind of get in the habit <clears throat> of saving them so not everything's in here um, I do have the rainforest passion fruit aka Costa Rica and I didn't realize it and it burned pretty good. I probably could get another maybe hour or so burn out of this, maybe two hours, but near the end it started kind of getting that just hot wax smell, which happens sometimes near the end of Bath and Body Works candles, so I just opted not to burn it. Um, I didn't realize it when I did my review of this candle, but a lot of people said that it is a repackage of, what is it, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit? I believe that's what it is, or Kiwi Passion Fruit. And it's funny because I had the wax melts 
of the kiwi passion fruit aloha kiwi passion fruit and i chucked it in the wax warmer and then i lit this candle and i go oh my god those blend so great together and then kind of to find out after you guys had posted on my video and on instagram and stuff that it's actually a repackage so um if you guys like aloha kiwi passion fruit you guys might like costa rica i wondered why this candle wasn't getting a lot of hype because it smells it smells really good but it was it's a repackage of aloha kiwi passion fruit and i know a lot of people really like that scent so would i repurchase this one again i probably i might next summer i really liked it it was nice it was fresh it was fruity um i don't know i did so many fruity scents this summer other than like my lemon ones i think i'm kind of maybe i might do something different next summer i might switch it up but i enjoyed it it was a good burn for the most part the candle burned fairly well just near the end it kind of started to get icky so i just bothered not even burning it i would not like scoop this wax out and try to remelt it it's just it's just done so that was aloha kiwi passion fruit slash costa rica i also had and this candle is so pretty I loved this candle and I was so fascinated by this whole collection I was just intrigued about it I made a video on it I wish I would have been able to try more of them this was from Target but it's by Yankee Candle and this was their wonder lust collection it was a summer collection and after speaking to the guys and gals at Yankee I guess when these this particular collection came in all these candles they had them maybe for several days and then they immediately got marked down for semi-annual sale I did see these at Target the other day. There was a couple left of scents that I wasn't super intrigued by on clearance. So I think Yankee's kind of like pushing out this whole collection now. They're all clearance down at all stores, it seems. But I really enjoyed this candle. It was a little two wick candle, smooth wax. And it was just a really pretty, fruity, strong scent. Um, my review of this it didn't get too too many views and I really don't pay attention to that too too much but I was really surprised maybe the maybe I did the review a little bit too late on it but I was just so intrigued by the entire collection I felt like I hadn't seen any really reviews on it maybe it comes out year after year that I don't know but I really enjoyed this candle um, really pretty scent it's actually called did I even tell you guys the name setting Sun setting Sun and if you're interested I do have a full review of all, all the notes I don't remember the notes in this it was just a very beautiful sweet fruity scent a very smooth fruity scent and at the time it smells really good. I was burning like watermelon lemonade and everything, so it blended really nicely. So that was Setting Sun from Yankee. And of course, I don't have any of my watermelon lemonade candles saved. I might have one in my candle. I have a little bit left of watermelon lemonade. If I was closer, I'd run and go grab it right now. But I have a little bit left, I think, of one of my watermelon lemonade candles. I didn't put it in my empties bag because all the stuff in here I'll wind up throwing out. But um, I do have watermelon lemonade. That was what I burned early, end of spring, you know, into summer, even though it was technically spring. And I absolutely loved it. I have a review up of that. It's kind of like a classic Bath and Body Works scent. So I had a, several, probably two or three of those candles I burned throughout the um, end of spring going into summer season. And then going into, let's see, more home fragrance items. Here is that Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit or Kiwi Passion Fruit Wax Tart. Again, if you guys enjoy Costa Rica, you would definitely enjoy this Aloha Kiwi. The wax threw pretty decently. I was a little surprised about the longevity of it. Um, it's hit or miss with White Barn slash Bath and Body Works wax. When it first started melting, no problems. It threw really, really well. After probably two or three um, times of turning the warmer, you know, on and off, different warming sessions I guess you could say different days I had used it it did start to dwindle down on scent I am one of those people that will leave my warmer on for hours hours and hours just because I think it looks really pretty so it did use up a lot of the scent with that so I'm not sure if that's me or the wax but I did find that the scent didn't last too too long and I had to keep adding cubes to keep the scent strong on it would I purchase this again? I wound up getting it on clearance. I probably would. I enjoyed the scent. Um, it was really fruity, definitely very spring, summery type fragrance. Like I said, I may switch it up again for next summer. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little overall the super fruity scents right now. Even though I'm burning lemon, I think I kind of burnt myself out on 
all fruit scents, so I might take a little break from that for a while. I am looking forward to fall fragrances, though. And in the same vein of, let's see, home fragrance items, I have some, oops, I have some wallflowers here. These are still, I'm still using right now tried and true lemoncello wallflower bulbs. And in the past, I have always kind of griped. Okay, my leg is falling asleep, so I'm gonna kind of reposition here. Um, I've always griped in the past that sometimes lemoncello, even the candle or the wallflowers, while I love the scent, I had a hard time getting a throw out of it. So I don't know if it was just my positioning of the wallflowers or what, but now that I've been using the Lemoncello wallflowers, this is what I'm using uh, right now in most of the wallflowers, it throws really well. I was really, really happy because I love, love Lemoncello. So, so far so good on the Lemoncello wallflowers. Maybe they reformulated it, maybe they added more fragrance oil, not sure, but um, I love me some Lemoncello. It's a wonderful scent. I love lemon fragrances. And I think I have a couple other wallflower tags in here. This one's from a while ago. Rose water and ivy. This was from beginning of spring. Such a gorgeous scent. I love rose scents. I do love a floral scent. I love a good floral. I think rose is such a pretty scent for um, the bedroom, for the bathroom. Pretty much any time of the year, you can do rose in the bedroom, I feel like. Um, I did have florals throughout the house at the very, very, very beginning of spring, and I absolutely loved it. And rose water and ivy is such a gorgeous scent, and it had a really good throw. It wasn't crazy strong. I do have a full review up of that. It wasn't crazy strong, but for a wallflower, it performed pretty decently. And then... I have a couple other... Here we go. A couple other wallflower... Oh, I have another another lemoncello and then this I am so impressed by you guys pink lemonade punch it smells so good I don't know why I've passed this up I keep wanting to call it pink apple punch because I think they may have had a pink apple punch you know way back in the day or maybe it's out now I'm not sure you guys I'm in love with this wallflower and I usually don't get like that with wallflowers it's really pretty. It's a juicy lemon, raspberry, and sugared pomegranate. I have two pink lemonade punch wallflowers and the rest I believe are lemoncello. This blends beautifully with, oddly enough, Yankee Candles Red Raspberry. The two of these together smell amazing just because it has a little bit of raspberry kind of scent in it, but I really enjoyed this one and so far so good on these. I actually have these plugged in right now with all of my lemon scents going and it has quite a throw. I was really surprised because, you know, wallflowers can be hit or miss, but so far so good on the pink lemonade punch. I keep wanting to call it pink apple. Yes, pink lemonade punch. Um, I asked you guys in one of my videos if there was a candle out of pink lemonade punch and you guys did say there was a candle. So I am inclined to maybe snag one of those. Side note before I dive into the rest of these, I don't want this to be a super long video, so thank you for bearing with me. Um, have you guys noticed during Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale that, I don't know, I feel like, I know they have the clearance candles, I know they have like the 10, 50, 12, 50 candles, 50% off, but I feel like 50% of their candles aren't on sale at all. So like even the summer ones, so like the, the pink lemonade punches, the lemon cellos, you know, those ones aren't on sale. So I don't know, I don't remember if in years past they were or not, but I really would love to grab some of the summer ones. I feel like not all the summer ones are on sale when you know, typically during the summer semi-annual sale, they do at least have like a 1250 promotion or have them on the same promotion um, as like the 50% off candles. I understand that they're not the 75% off or even 50, but even 1250 would be nice. I don't know, just something I noticed. Um, and what else do we have here? I have a couple more wallflowers. Sorry, I'm rifling through the bag here. Another pink lemonade punch. And I think that is it on wallflower tags. If I find another one in here, I will show it to you guys. <clears throat> and then diving into soaps. So I have a lemon grapefruit soap. This one smelled really good. I do like grapefruit scents. Oh, there's 
just like a super effervescent like grapefruit scent. I almost would have rather had Bath and Body Works make this in a candle than, um, what is that, poolside, what is it, soda pop, poolside, no, summertime soda pop. I'm getting like poolside punch and all these ones mixed up. Summertime soda pop. Don't come for me. I know you guys love that scent. I like it too, but it's so heavy on the lime. I would have loved to have had like a effervescent lemony grapefruit scent. I just think this would have been beautiful in a candle. The notes are fresh lemon, grapefruit zest, and juicy nectarine. And it stayed on your hands after you wash them, just very clean and fresh. I loved this one. And then I also had Oh Happy Day, which is pink grapefruit pop, a little bit different than the one I just showed you. It, um, yeah, it's a little bit different. It, <clears throat> this has more of like a lemony, zesty grapefruit, whereas this is most certainly fresh, you know, um, grapefruit zest kind of. And uh, both of them had really long, like long lasting scents on your hands. When you wash your hands, you could still smell it. The notes for this one are, let's see, did they put them on here? Tart grapefruit, juicy tangerine, and fizzy lemon. That's odd. I wonder if it's the power of suggestion because these both had the same notes, just in different orders. They have to, I'm sure they do that sometimes. They smell different though, like slightly different. This one smells more grapefruit to me. I don't know. If you guys have used these, comment down below. I feel like this one has more grapefruit. Anyways, I wouldn't put it Bath Bath & Body Works to do a repackage on the soaps. Not knocking it. I mean, they do with certain fragrances. Um, this one was nice. It was a little bit lighter. Fresh lemonade. When I washed my hands with this, sometimes I, if you know, you're smelling your hands, or not that you're like sitting there smelling your hands, but as you're doing stuff throughout the day, you can catch wafts of the soap smell. This one was a little bit lighter. Um, it's just a straight up, very um, crisp, icy lemonade scent. It's not, it has a little bit of zest. It's lemon juice, lime twist, and sugar crystals. I can definitely get that it's a lemon lime type scent, but not too heavy on the lime. I actually prefer the grape, grapefruit ones a little bit better. Um, one item that I don't have in here that in my haul right now that I'm almost out of, but I'm not completely empty, so I didn't put it in my bag, was I have a Kitchen Lemon Creamy Luxe Soap that I grabbed from semi-annual sale. I'm using that right now. It smells just like a fresh, you know, Kitchen Lemon scent. I snagged it, I think they were on sale for 75% off or something, or maybe 350. I also have a Watermelon Lemonade Creamy Luxe Soap that I'm using in my kitchen that's almost done, but not quite. So I didn't include it in here, but I'll just mention it. And then the other soap, I have another Watermelon Lemonade Nourishing Hand Soap. This one was with, I think it was avocado oil, avocado butter, yeah. And um, to me it's almost, I think it's the same as the Creamy Lux soaps. I, ha I noticed no difference between this, um, scent wise and texture wise, than the Creamy Lux Watermelon Lemonade I have out in my kitchen. So if you guys like the Creamy Lux soaps, you probably would have liked this one. I think they're all out of these now. Um, every Bath & Body Works, the only thing I need now is soap. I'm running low on soaps, I should have grabbed more. I've been calling several stores, they're all out of clearance soaps. They're all on the five for 23 promotion. So it's one of those things I should have grabbed, <clears throat> excuse me, I should have grabbed more when I had the opportunity. Now I actually have a body care item in here. It takes me a long time to go through body care, you guys, but I know you guys had said you'd be interested in seeing body care items. So I promise I will keep saving them as I go through them. This is very non-seasonal and not super exciting, but I do love the scent. This is the pink cashmere. You can see I get every last drop out of my products. This is pink cashmere. It's just such a warm, um, soft, very feminine scent. It's got a little bit of a warm vanilla -y musk kind of note to it. It has notes of pink jasmine, creamy sandalwood, white amber, and cashmere musk. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, very, very light. They discontinued the travel sizes in these and kept the large ones, not sure why, but I remember it last SAS stocking up on minis of this. So that is the pink cashmere body cream. And then we're getting down to the bottom here. I actually have a little bit more left in this one, but I had a empty one that I pitched. So just for purposes of showing you what I'm talking about, 
Uh, this is kind of getting into cosmetics and you know body care stuff. I don't know, I'm sure all of you guys have heard of this, but the Batiste Dry Shampoo, they have expanded their line more than I remember. Um, this is the Rose Gold, and it there's no um, difference in or differentiation between the color that comes out of these ones amongst all the fragrances. It's just the same kind of white powder. They do have colored ones, but the scent, they have about eight different fragrances. The Rose Gold, it says pretty and delicate, it's a really pretty, almost perfumey scent. And it's really nice to have that versus like a standard hairspray scent or a standard regular dry shampoo scent. So I put this in here because I love Batiste. If you guys haven't tried it, it's an amazing dry shampoo. Next to Bumble and Bumble's Dry Spun, which is my all time favorite dry shampoo. Um, Batiste is also a really nice one. A little more economical <laughs> to do Batiste versus Bumble and Bumble. Their dry shampoos are like $36, so I don't get it too, too much. I splurge once in a while. You can get these at Ulta. Sometimes they have a buy one, get one half off. Rose Gold is amazing. They also have one, I should have grabbed them. They have one that is called Wild, and it's like a animal print, and it's also another really pretty perfumey, warm type scent. So if you guys are looking for dry shampoo with a really good scent that's not your standard dry shampoo scent, you might wanna check out the Batiste dry shampoos. And moving along here, oh, I have one other, two other little wrappers. I thought this was just like trash. <laughs> um, I have a Sweet Nothings Yankee Candle Tart. This is in the bedroom currently right now, in the bedroom warmer. I love Sweet Nothings. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It's beautiful. It came out in the spring for Yankee Candle. It smells to me similar to Moonlight Path, but not as heavy, I guess you could say. I don't remember the exact scent notes. I do have a review up of this, but if you like warm, cozy, almost like a powdery bedroom scent, you might like Sweet Nothings. I also, oh, votive of red raspberry i have a votive of yankee candles red raspberry um, to kind of coordinate with my medium jar i had this going in the bathroom really pretty scent and then a couple other items in here these are all cosmetic items i'm going to blast through these kind of quickly because those of you who aren't here for cosmetics may not be too too interested but i did just finish up my bare minerals um, bear pro this is a pressed powder um i actually wound up getting this because the Ulta I shop at was out of my Clinique standard um, press powder that I use. I use Clinique as my base um, for liquid. And then I use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This is my first time using this and I really liked it. It, um, it really, my face isn't super oily, so I don't have too, too many issues with that. But sometimes just throughout the day, your face gets oily, especially if you're wearing makeup. You guys that you guys and gals that wear makeup know that. So this did a really good job. It didn't get super shiny very quick. And this was, um, it's just performance wear powder foundation. I think I'm still using, I have a little bit left, so I don't have the actual, um, compact itself, but I actually really enjoyed this. This was my first time using it. It has buildable coverage. It's not super full coverage, but it's also not like a veil coverage where it's very, very light. So I really enjoyed that. And this is in the color champagne. And then this, I actually talked about this in one of my other cosmetic reviews. And if you guys are interested in cosmetic reviews, let me know. I can do that as well. If you guys are interested, this is the Naked Skin. This is actually a concealer. Um, gosh, why is this nice? By Urban Decay. It's so shiny. This is the only concealer I use anymore. Um, it lasts for those of us that have fine lines and creases. Um, sometimes liquid will settle into that and <clears throat> I don't have any issues with this. This stuff is phenomenal. It lasts all day. I use it for under eye and I also use it to do almost, um, more of a contouring not completely but i'll do a little bit of light here on the bridge of my nose and it lasts it lasts it's not shiny and it's phenomenal and even if you need coverage say for acne scars or anything like that i use it more of as like a highlight contour type deal but it also has that wonderful coverage this is in what color is this one it's fair neutral this is a little pricey. I believe these are $32, so that's a lot of money for a um, concealer. 
but if you guys have the opportunity or if you're able to kind of splurge a little bit I would definitely suggest trying it I've been using it for about a year now I don't want to try any other concealer this does it for me I absolutely love it I actually wound up grabbing this when my Fiona Styles got discontinued at Ulta so I switched to Urban Decay and I've been hooked ever since and then I also have I do a lot of nude eyeshadows. Um, I don't have time all the time to do like a full eye all the time. And um, I always rely heavily on all different types of nude eyeshadows. I really switched to cream eyeshadow once I found these. These are by, Mer by Bare Minerals. They are a five in one. Um, what it actually is, it's a BB, BB cream. It's eyeshadow BB cream. So you can use it as a base and then build on it, or you can use it just as a straight eyeshadow. They have a range of colors, most of them are neutral. I have two here, one is barely nude and one is soft linen. I don't know, there we go, it'll show you a little bit of the difference on there. These do not crease. I know a lot of times um, liquid eyeshadows will crease and it just, you know, kind of makes for not the best look when you have creased crinkled eyeshadows but these are phenomenal these are a little pricey as well but I've had both of these for almost a year they lasted quite a long time a little goes a long way so again if you guys are interested in makeup stuff let me know um, I really takes me quite a while to go through makeup because I do just kind of a neutral standard routine every day but again I can I can do separate videos on that if you guys want and then almost there guys it is Oh my gosh, almost a 30 minute video. This may be one of my longest videos. So if you are still here, thank you. <laughs> you guys, I swear by this. I swear by this product. I get really bad chapped lips, dry lips sometimes, especially if you're using matte lipstick or in the winter or just whenever. If you guys get cold sores, um, well, it's not for cold sores. If you guys get lip irritation or chapped lips, this is the First Aid Beauty. They carry this at Ulta. I believe Sephora carries First Aid Beauty as well. Ultra, Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. This is $12 a tube, so quite a bit for just a lip, you know, um, moisturizer. It's not a lip gloss. The consistency of this, I absolutely love. I actually almost use this as kind of a nighttime lip therapy. So if I do a lip exfoliation or at night when I'm putting on my face moisturizer, I will put this on. I don't use it during the day unless my lips are really chapped and I need to touch up. I use it for the sole purposes of a um, overnight lip treatment essentially. Ever since Bath & Body Works stopped carrying my CO Bigelow nighttime lip repair, I found this. I needed to find a uh, replacement and I've been using this for about almost a year, I'd say about eight or nine months, and I absolutely love it. Again, a little goes a long way. The thing I like about this, it, it is petroleum free. So it's not like you're paying for something that you know any other you know lip product may have, any other lip treatment product. It's petroleum free, it's phenomenal, and I absolutely love it. So you guys, I think that is it. Wow, what a big haul. If you guys are still here, thank you so, so much. I am going to wrap up, but before I do, I want to let you guys know I am on Instagram. Come find me at life, L-I-F-E, underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this ultra haul, empties haul. If you guys like to see more of these, please comment down below and I will um, certainly do my best to save up more empties, whether it be home fragrance, cosmetics, or both. You guys let me know down below what you're interested in seeing and I will do that for you. You guys, I hope you are having an awesome summer. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. And as always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.